Wow, Johnny. Look at all those stars. They're so bright and twinkly. Yeah, they're amazing. Hey, remember when we found out why the sky is blue? Of course. That was right after we learned how birds fly. But now I'm wondering, what are stars made of? Hmm, that's a great question. Maybe we should ask Professor Cosmos. She always knows cool stuff like this. Great idea. Let's go find her. Race you there. Last one there has to build the next time machine. Oh, you're on. But remember, I found the secret treasure in Maplewood last time. We love to learn, oh yes we do. With each new fact we find a clue. From dinosaurs to ocean blue, there's so much waiting just for you. We love to learn, it's always true. In every color, shape, and hue. From stars above to birds that soar, there's so much more for us to explore. Well, hello there, young explorers. What brings you to my cosmic corner today? Professor Cosmos, we have a big question. Yeah, we want to know what stars are made of. Ha, ah, what a stellar question. Let's dive into the universe of stars, shall we? Stars are like giant balls of gas, mainly hydrogen and helium. Gas? Like when Johnny eats too many beans? <laughs> hey! Not quite, Sarah. This gas is super hot and under lots of pressure. Like squeezing a stress ball? More like squeezing a million million stress balls at once. This pressure is so intense that it makes the hydrogen atoms smoosh together. Wow! What happens then? When they smoosh together, they create helium and release a ton of energy. That's what makes stars so bright and hot. Stars are fast balls, all so bright. Hydrogen and helium light up with the night. Pressure makes them smoosh and squeeze, creating light with cosmic ease. Way up in the sky so high, twinkling dots we can't deny. Billions strong in the Milky Way. Lighting up the night and day. Stars are shining far and wide. Cosmic magic they can hide. In the night they gleam and glow. Teaching us what they know. Fusion stance in every core. Keeps them burning evermore. Energy in every flare. Sending light through the air Light years away in distant lands Cosmic wonders from their hands Forever in our dreams they stay Guiding us both night and day Stars are shining far and wide Cosmic magic they can't hide In the night they gleam and glow Teaching us what they know So cool! So, stars are like nature's fusion reactors? Exactly, Johnny. You're quite the little scientist. And they make all that pretty light we see at night? That's right, Sarah. The energy they produce travels all the way across space to reach our eyes. Look at me! I'm a giant ball of gas! You sure are, Johnny. Speaking of giants, did you know that stars come in different sizes? Really? How 
big can they get? Well, our sun is pretty big, about 109 times wider than Earth. But some stars are much bigger. Bigger than this? Much, much bigger. There's a star called UY Scuti that's about 1,700 times wider than our sun. Wow, that's enormous. But if stars are so big, why do they look so small in the sky? Excellent question, Johnny. That's because stars are incredibly far away from us. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, we wonder how far you are. Millions, billions, miles from here, yet your light shines bright and clear. Stars are giants in the night, scattered through the sky so bright, guarding us with gentle gleam, filling dreams with silver beams. Sparkly wonders up above Sending us their light with love Twinkle, twinkle, cosmic friends Your beauty, it never ends Guiding sailors on their way Through the night until the day In the night you're not alone with the stars your night is shown Wishing upon every light Making magic every night Oh, the universe so wide Stars like diamonds in the tide Sparkly wonders up above Sending us their light with love In the night, you're not alone. So how far are the stars, Professor? Well, the closest star to Earth, besides our Sun, is called Proxima Centauri. It's about 40 trillion kilometers away. Trillion? That's a big number! It sure is. Light from that star takes about four years to reach us, traveling at the speed of light. Wow! So when we look at stars, we're seeing them as they were years ago? Exactly, Sarah. It's like looking back in time. Oh, oh, I have another question. Do stars live forever? No, Johnny. Stars have life cycles, just like living things. They're born in giant clouds of gas and dust. They live for millions or billions of years, and eventually, they die. Stars can die? That's so sad. Don't be sad, Sarah. When big stars die, they can create beautiful nebulae or even black holes. And the material from dead stars helps form new stars and planets. So, stars are like cosmic recyclers? That's a wonderful way to put it, Johnny. You know what? I think stars are even cooler now that we know more about them. Me too! Thanks, Professor Cosmos! You're very welcome, children. Remember, there's always more to learn about our amazing universe. And so, Sarah and Johnny learned that stars are massive balls of gas, mainly hydrogen and helium. The intense pressure inside stars causes the atoms to fuse, releasing the energy we see as stars. But that's not all. They discovered that stars come in different sizes, with some growing to over 1,000 times the size of our sun. They're so far away that even the closest star's light takes years to reach us. And just like us, stars are born, live long lives, and eventually reach their end. But their materials go on to form new stars and planets. Remember, children, the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. 
Keep looking up at the night sky and imagine the incredible stellar stories unfolding above you. If you enjoyed learning about stars with Sarah and Johnny, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And hey, why not check out our other episodes? You might discover why the sky is blue or how birds fly, or maybe go on an adventure with Sarah and Johnny. Until next time, keep shining bright like the stars you are.